the good news is that everyone's masterful at this process of creating their life. Everybody's already done it. Uh -huh. The challenge is in doing it with, with more and more awareness over time and seeing that there's choices that we make and there's consequences to our choices. What I found is that emotional safety is the most important building block to connect with our heart's desire. It also is the most important building block for health and well-being. And what she said was really quite profound. She said, whenever a child in our culture is confronted with a difficult decision, we ask them to consider the impact that that decision will have on seven generations. And now we know that this is far more than a metaphor, far more than a cultural dynamic. It's a biological reality. Even if we had a perfect health care system, only about 10% of the contribution to longevity is a function of health care. And other studies have suggested that only about 25% is genetically determined. So the vast majority of factors that contribute to longevity, quality of life, and indeed our effectiveness of human beings are products of our choices. And as we mentioned earlier, those choices affect your children and potentially your children's children. Well, it's only when you fall that you have the end result of true imbalance. Before you fall down, you're still balancing. When we overcome fear, then it's much easier to recognize our true nature. Our true nature lives inside of us now, as it is. The only thing that obscures it is our fearful thoughts and our fearful beliefs. So the way I like to talk about 2012 as the most incredible opportunity to wake up. If all of this interpretation is around the fear of loss, then we have a chance to go deeper and deeper and deeper inside to recognize, on one level, there is no loss possible because we're eternal. Mm -hmm. Our souls are eternal. Our true spiritual essence goes on and on and on and on. Life is eternal. So I wanted to capture the eyes and I wanted to create the experience of being, you know, with a uh, mystic sage in, in the caves of Tibet and to create that environment of sitting with someone. So that's why the film is broken up into five chapters where you actually get to sit with each teacher and you, you sit with the teacher, you get the wisdom, then you have time to fly through nature with it and kind of soar and take it in. Then you go back to the same teacher and then go to the next one. So it's like a series of opportunities to sit with different teachers, different um, um, wisdom from different traditions and see which one resonates best for you.